Today I want to take a closer look at the blending modes for um, the layers palette. I thought it'd be good to go back to basics and get a better understanding of how those blend modes work. Uh, so here on the right you can see I've got uh, about five layers. Um, I'm going to start with a background layer, which is just a standard photo of a um, hillside. And above that I've got an image of uh, just a model. So um, the first blend mode in the list is darken. And when I select that, you can see that uh, it immediately knocks out some areas and leaves others. And what that is doing, or what it appears to be doing, is for every single pixel on both of those layers, uh, it does a comparison. And the darker of those two pixels remains. Now, for areas that are in between or... Um, not quite dark, but not quite light, it appears to um, do some kind of blending there. So let's go ahead and stop and get a closer look at this. So you can see there's some, some transition here that takes place in the uh, kind of mid-tones of the image. Uh, and this actually might even be easier to visualize if we go ahead and step back out I'm going to turn off this color layer and I'm going to turn on a black and white version of that photo. And you can see I've already got it on darken. And if we zoom into some of these areas, again, you'll see that while it's a black and white photo, we've got some uh, color happening here, some greens, etc. And that's because of the, the blending of those um, shades of gray with the pixels underneath. And if we kind of pan around the image here and look at some other areas just to get a, a sense of how those are, uh, those pixels are being impacted by the, the blend. Again, you can see some transition here. Some areas where the pixels are clearly uh, darker. Um, that's, that's what you see. So let's do one more thing. I'm going to go ahead and turn off that layer. I've got a red rectangle layer, and that, that also kind of helped clear things up a little bit for me. Um, you can see here, again, in the um, transitional areas, that it is not quite red, but not quite the underlying color either. And it's even clearer when we go all the way in and just toggle that layer. You can see some of the pixels change. Some of them don't. Some of them just blend. And so there's some neat things that you can do just with that darken layer. Uh, one of the things I like is to add kind of a... Um, um, it almost looks like it's got uh, kind of a drawn look to it. Just a, just a hint. It's not a lot. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn on this layer again, uh, the color layer for the uh, model. I'm going to put it back to normal. I'm going to duplicate her. And on this layer, I'm going to apply a live filter layer. And I'm going to add a Gaussian blur. And I drag that up to about 20 pixels. And then with this layer, I'm going to turn on darken. And you can see how it adds kind of a nice um, like the darks are really dark. It almost looks like it's been penciled in a little bit. So let's hide that one. We'll do it with the, uh, the background also. So I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to add a blur. Gaussian blur again. Again, 20 pixels. And I'm going to select that layer and I'm going to turn on darken. And again, you can see it adds kind of a nice punchy effect. Now, darken has kind of a mirror blend mode and that's lighten. And lighten does, you know, exactly what you'd expect. It does exactly the opposite uh, of what the darken does.
you can see that adds instead of adding kind of dark accents everywhere it adds kind of nice white highlights around everything it almost looks kind of like saran wrap or something like the uh, shrink wrap effect I just want to say thank you for stopping by my channel. If this video was at all helpful to you, it'd mean a lot to me if you liked or subscribed. Share this video if you know someone that could use the information. As always, if you have questions, suggestions for tutorials, or if there is some other creative software that you think I should start making tutorials for, leave a comment below.